Hello everyone, I'm Zaylayer and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we are on the Survival Let's Play world on episode 30. <laughs> we have hit episode 30 on this world, and not without plenty of tragedies either. I am just now making my sword, it is literally less than an hour after the previous episode uploaded, uh, but that's just to, um, oh yeah, okay, I'm forgetting my whole inventory set up here, guys, sorry, uh, yeah, there's a chest plate, so in today's episode, you can tell from the thumbnail title, I don't need to say it, but I will anyways, in case you just like me that much that you don't care what the video is about, I mean, that's probably not, okay, so, uh, in today's episode, we will be, um, crap, we will be building, well, working on the uh, storage room, uh, storage facility, storage warehouse. There we go, that's the words I'm looking for. Uh, right over there. Um, I want to build the boat dock first. Uh, and then we might get to a little bit of terraforming. Um... So we're actually going to build the boat dock in a time lapse, given that it was a little bit more detailed in the last episode. Uh, not the last episode, the episode before last. Um, me building this. Uh, so yeah. Let's start that time lapse. Uh, I also need to get the materials, I just now realized. Let's see, spruce slabs, oak logs. My fridge making weird noises. Oh dear God! Let's start that time lapse. All right, hello everyone, and welcome to the time lapse. Here, it's been a long time since I've done a time lapse in general, let alone one of the ones where I talk during this. So if I'm a little bit rusty at doing this, um, please excuse me. Uh, so what we're doing here is basically a boat dock, so that I have a simple way to get back and forth between the build site of the storage warehouse and the um, uh, base basically. Uh, the storage warehouse is being considered part of the base. You can see here I actually ended up running over to the um, aquarium project build which we will be working on again in our next episode. Um, so yeah, uh, as you can see I do have a sword. I don't know why I didn't use it. I guess I got so used to using my bow. But yeah, um, it's been a long time since I've done one of these, and basically videos have been terrible on the channel lately. Um, and that's why I've been experimenting a few different ideas with videos, which is making them a little bit shorter um, to uh, uh, this video, which is spending more time on the video itself, as far as recording goes, and trying to jam a lot more into the video. Um, you will see why at the end of the video why I am jamming a lot more in. Well, you'll see an example of it. Um, let's just say this might be the most productive video I've ever done as far as as much as far as the amount of works it's got done. Uh, technically, I'm actually recording the video or audio clip for this time lapse after the I've recorded everything else. So. Um, yeah, this is uh, just how I edit videos. Um, but yeah, that that's basically all I want to say is I am reverting back to my original schedule I had months ago. Um, so I hope it works out. But anyways, guys, it looks like time lapse is coming to a close here. And I really hope you enjoy this video. Right, guys, welcome back. And we are now at the completed boat dock. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, if we head down here, we, whoa, we'll have a lag spike. And second of all, um, I haven't added too much underneath of it. Uh, mainly because, A, you're not gonna see it, um, which is why I'm putting it off. But B, uh, uh there's actually going to be a quite a bit of extensive terraforming around the lake here including the complete moval uh, movement of some islands uh, to other parts of the lake uh, like this island is going to move 
somewhat over here and is going to get a little bit less irregular shaped in that direction, but is going to more extend along the river coast, the river bottom coast, um, in that direction. Um, there's a tiny island there. I want to move it close to where this one is. And I'm pretty sure there's another tiny island somewhere around here that I'm moving to a different location. Um, this whole spot right here is going to get bumped out by a bit, and so is this area around here. Uh, and this area is actually going to get raised up a bit, given uh, the level that we're building the storage room on. Uh, that will... The terraforming, all the terraforming will not get done in this episode. Uh, I really want to just focus on the storage room. So now the sun is setting, I need to sleep, and I also need to grab the necessary materials. Tons of oak logs, tons of birch planks, uh, cobblestone slabs and stairs, and uh, stuff that I have way more than I need of, and I'm going to be way over prepared for this project. Um, so I guess the only thing now to do is grab the materials and get started. I will cut you guys back when I have a little bit of a base foundation done. Alright guys, welcome back. And we now are falling uh, from the platform. And we now have a little bit of a um, foundation set. I actually had to extend out this uh, platform in some directions. Uh, I want it quite close to the um, uh, fishing dock here, or boat dock, uh, because that's basically its only use. And uh, what's going to happen is there's going to be a little porch out here, and there's going to be a trail leading off of it that's very short, just leads in there. But the trail is going to seem longer because there's going to be a load, a load, load, like a huge ton, like the most foliage you've ever seen in terraforming like trees left right and center you won't be able to look more than probably 10 blocks into the forest before getting blocked by bushes and the trees it's going to be a little bit ridiculous and it's going to involve a lot of bone meal and a lot of saplings <laughs> um i actually got the idea from a youtuber i watched um i think we want to go five blocks up uh no i think we want to go i don't know let's see what uh four blocks looks like yeah that's way too short <laughs> that is way too short and i don't really have scaffolding <laughs> so we'll just use that um, so that's four. I think if we put it up in our two blocks, I think it'd be good. And then bring it across and drop down and uh, do this. So yeah, I am happy that we are finally getting a storage or a storage uh, room. Well, it's technically going to be called a warehouse. Uh, this will tie into the lore of the world um, in some way. I'm not completely set on what it is, but I'm having this really cool idea of somehow one of the first and major presidents of this world, uh, of this country, um, makes a huge decision at this warehouse. Uh, or like somehow this warehouse is connected to the... Um, Capitol building, which I don't have a name for yet. I don't know what I'm going to call it. Um, but that was the worst mistake I've made so far. Wow. Uh, but... Okay, so I, I'm keeping... I'm definitely keeping the cow farm we have. Just because it works so well into the terrain. But I'm going but, but to be building a new one. Um, I don't know where. It might be somewhere really... Wow, I, I, I went a little bit crazy there. Uh, it's going to be somewhere really... Um, I'm wanting to say out of the way, 
but I want it to be easily accessible. I'm thinking somewhere in these dense forests around the, um, uh, um, storage warehouse building thingy. Wow, am I out of logs already? Holy crap. <laughs> I just started. Uh, okay, but anyways, yeah, this, uh, this place here is going to tie into the lore. Um, so let me grab some more wow this is gonna be cool I, I can't wait for you to like be walking up on the boat dock and then out of the trees there's this huge rooftop and it's gonna be very overgrown there's gonna be maybe holes in the roof and maybe broken glass windows but it's all gonna tie in uh, very very nicely I might only I don't know if I'm gonna do anything broken like uh, holes in the ceiling or holes complete holes which you can walk through in the walls because I want this to be a building which is very very secure from mobs so let me head over to the um, uh, build site over there because I have a ton of oak logs over there right now I'll just bring back a few stacks and we can use that to um, finish up the framework for this and uh, I'll probably build the walls in between that time too so I will catch you guys in just a few minutes alright guys welcome back and we are actually now working on some exterior details uh, slash conveniences um, to the build here uh, so let's actually step down and uh, well fall down I guess uh, and take a look at this from a little bit of a far out across the lake so I finished up basically the basic structure of it got some window holes in I don't have the actual windows in yet I got a door in uh, this is what it looks like from a bit of far um, as you can see it's got the sloping roof with the top slope on top I'm actually making a staircase around the outside it looks a little bit weird I know um, I'm not sure how like cuz I feel like the staircase that we made in the house over there would be a little bit too bulky for this maybe it might just be um, so you come up here you around the corner and you're up i um, thinking that I want to basically create three more posts one right off to side here um, however we're getting to the point where this is getting so far out where the terraforming will start to come into play right because it will be further out bumped out on this side because of this hill than on that side where it's gonna get where this platform is gonna get cut back a little bit like this to make way for basically this somewhat steady drop into the extended um, beach here uh, for this. It's not going to be much of a beach or might not even be much sand to it. Maybe a little bit. Uh, mostly just dirt uh, going straight into the water. Um, did I do that? No, I didn't actually. I want to do that. Uh, I think I'm going to start right there and start bringing it across like that and let's actually extend it out of the way and let's head up here let's jump across there and now let's uh, get this thing going up so yes that is good it, it feels really tight that's actually what I want for this I want a really kind of industrial feel um, this is going to get a little bit weird and I also need to eat, I'm realizing. Otherwise, I'm going to die eventually from taking fall damage. This build's a lot taller than it was initially thought is going to be. That is maybe just a bit too tall. Um, I think that might just be good. And then we place the slab on. Yeah, no, that'll, that'll be good. Do I have the slab on me? No, I don't have the slabs on me. I can make those slabs, but I, but I have more at the base or the house over there. Um, which basically is our base right now 
Uh, but if we jump back, yeah, as you can see, it. I thought that looked super dumb, but that's actually kind of cool. Alright guys, welcome back, and I am now just cleaning up the inside here. And how are we going to go about this? So, let's, we got our birch wood. Uh, let's just sort of fill in like this area. And then, let's see. Um, this is going to get a little bit weird, which is why I think we're just going to fill it in a little bit more. If you're wondering why I'm wasting birch wood, um, I'm pretty sure I got uh, over a thousand worth in logs, and that's like four thousand worth in um, planks. So, yeah, I'm not too worried on the uh, wood aspect here. Uh, as far as chests goes, especially, um, I figured it up in my head. For the downstairs alone, I will have 128 singular chests, which equals out to 64 double chests. Um, and this is weird. Uh, how do I... I definitely can't do that. Uh, what if we change this to stairs instead? Let's try that. Um, so, yes. Uh, like I said earlier, um, the place around this is going to get heavily terraformed with lots of, like, um, trees and stuff. Because I want to really cover up a lot of this build with trees and uh, foliage. Because um, it's not the most exciting thing ever. Uh, we got to do that on this side now. I'm going to need a few more stairs, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Um, let's make those, actually, real quick. Uh, plop some birch wood into the crafting table, and out comes eight stairs. <laughs> uh, all right. <clears throat> Let, let's uh, go around the crafting table. I don't think... I, I, I don't think going through it would work. It's not working out too well. Um, where, where do we say one, two, three, one, two, three? Um, I'm sorry, but if you're planning on building along with the warehouse, I've kind of done most of it, a lot of it off camera. Uh, right now I'm just doing a little bit of the boring stuff. Well, it's not boring, it's just weird. Uh, which is cleaning up the inside after the roof gets laid down. Um, I need to put a staircase in the interior here. Uh, if we head back here, we can see I got this side of the build, like, finished. Um, this is actually technically the front side. And the way I planned this build out was super weird. Originally, it had a whole lore with, like, this one gunshot in the war over this land here uh but now it's um changed a bit uh i'm not sure what the lore for this build is anymore um so yeah uh let me uh let me get i don't know if we'll have time to do the full interior during this episode because i still need to lay down the floor in fact that might be what i do right now um is get this floor down. Um, yeah, that's definitely. <sighs> Can I get a round of applause for that one? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, we'll just mine into the ground here and start taking out blood. Oh, nope. Alright guys, welcome back, and I have the floors done now. Now I was uh, working on a staircase, but I can't find where to fit it in just quite yet, given um, how much space the books, or not the books, uh, but the um, storage units are taking up. Um, the, I, I, I got to do a lot of planning and designing for the rest of this build, but unfortunately... 
this is where I'm going to have to end off the video here. Because... Well, I, I do have more time to work on it, but then again, I don't want a half an hour long video. Um, but yeah. So, we almost have a proper long-term storage system in this world. Finally. Well, I, I can't I can't celebrate it j just quite yet. I gotta wait until the actual chests are in the building. Um, I should have enough wood for that. 128 chests. I don't feel like mathing that as of right now. But anyways, guys. Ah, Zare Layer. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like down below and subscribe. And click the bell button to see the next video. Now I'll see you guys in the next one. And goodbye. Oh, and by the way, it's um 976 uh, wood blocks that I need. Planks. I think I got enough. I took out half a forest over there. I think I think it's good. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see.